your loyalty our ducal heartstrings touches. Allow me to present your new Grand Duchess. Should she offend, you'll graciously excuse her and kindly recollect I didn't choose her. <laughs> At the outset, I may mention it's my sovereign intention to revive the classic memories of Athens at its best. For the company possesses all the necessary dresses, and a course of quiet cramming will supply us with the rest. We've a choir hypochromatic that is ballet operatic who respond to the carutai of that cultivated age. And our clever chorus master, all but captious pretty caster, would accept as the courageous of the early attic stage. This return to classic ages is considered in thy wages, which are always calculated by the day or by the week. And I'll pay them if they back me all in obeloi or drag me, which they'll get if they prefer it at the calends that are Greek. At this juncture I may mention that this erudition sham is but classical pretension, the result of steady cram, very plastic methods burning to this audience discerning. I admit the show of learning is the fruit of steady cram. Very plastic methods burning to this audience discerning. I admit the show of learning is the fruit of steady cram. In the period Socratic, every dining room was attic, which suggests an architecture of a topsy-turvy kind. There they satisfy their thirst on our recherche, called the wrist on which is what they call their lunch, and so may you if you're inclined. As they gradually got on, they trepest I crossed on pot on, which is attic for a steady and a conscientious drink. But they mixed their wine with water, which I'm sure they did not order, and we modern Saxons know a trick worth two of that, I think. Then came rather risky dances under certain circumstances which would shock that worthy gentleman, the licenser of plays, Corribanti and Maniacic, Dionysiac or Bacchic, and the dithyambic rebels of those undercorus days. And perhaps I'd better mention, lest alarming you I am, that it isn't our intention to perform a dithyam. It displays a lot of stocking, which is always very shocking. And of course, I'm only mocking at the prevalence of cram. It displays a lot of stocking, which is always very shocking. And of course, I'm only mocking at the prevalence of cram. Yes, on reconsideration, there are customs of that nation which are not in strict accordance with the habits of our day. And when I come to codify their rules, I mean to modify, or Mrs. Grundy perhaps may have a word or two to say. For they had at Macintoshes or umbrellas or galoshes, and the shower with their dresses must have played the very deuce. And it must have been unpleasing when they caught a fit of sneezing, for it seems of pocket handkerchiefs they didn't know the use. They wore little underclothing, scarcely anything or nothing, and their dress of Cohen silk was quite transparent in design. Well, in fact, in summer weather, something like the altogether, and it's there I rather fancy I shall have to draw the line. And again, I wish to mention that this erudition sham is but classical pretension, the result of steady cram. Yet my classic lore aggressive, if you pardon the possessive, is exceedingly impressive when you're passing an exam. It's classic lore aggressive, if you pardon the possessive, is exceedingly impressive when you're passing an exam.
comedian whom the law backs to sovereign rank is promptly elevated. He takes it with his incidental drawbacks. So Julia and I are duly mated. Take care of him. He's much too good to live with him. You must be very gentle. And also sentimental. Be sure you never let him sit up late in chilly open air conversing. For darling, he's extreme. Consider it from this dainty point of view. A timid, tender, feminine gender prompt to coyly coo. Yet silent seeking, seldom speaking till she's spoken to. A comfy, cozy, rosy, posy, innocent ingenue. The part you're suited to, to give the deuce his due. A sweet, oh, Jiminy, mimini, pimini, innocent ingenue. I'm much obliged to you, I don't think that would do. A to sweet, play, oh, Jiminy, mimini, pimini, innocent ingenue. You forget my special magic in a high dramatic sense. Lies in situations tragic and as I've justified promotion in the history on account, I'll submit to you my notion of a first rate part. Well, let us see your notion of a first rate part. My heart stands still with horror chilled. 
hard as a millstone nether. Then soft, slyly, snaily, snaky, crawly, creepy, quaily, quaky, I track her on her homeward way as panther tracks her fated prey. I fly at her soft white throat, the lily white laughing leman. On her agonized gaze I gloat with the glee of a dancing demon. My rival she, I have no doubt of her, so I hold on till the breath is out of her, till the breath is out of her. And then, remorse, remorse, oh cold unpleasant course, avaunt, avaunt, that lifeless form I gaze upon, that face still warm but weirdly wan, those eyes of glass I contemplate, and then alas, too late, too late, I find she is your aunt. Then mad, 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 with fancies wild, chimerical, now sorrowful, silent, sad, now hullabaloo, hysterical. <laughs> But whether I'm sad or whether I'm glad, mad, 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 mad! This calls for the resources of a high-class art and satisfies my notion of a first-rate part and satisfies my notion of a I can't fix, my dear. This proves I'm not a sham. It won't. It only says, crack up and sits, my dear. Express your grief profound. I shan't. This tone I never allow, my love. Rodolphe at once produce. I can't. He isn't at home just now, my love. He isn't at home just now. He isn't at home just now. He has an appointment particular. Very good. Why do I think it's a tonsil and And that's how we come to be making so many for years at the home just now. Disappointment, I am sorry unaffectedly that yesterday that nobleman expired quite unexpectedly. <laughs>
Hey! 
Some rascal come up poaching Who's heard that wine we're broaching? Who can this be? Who can this be? Who can this be? Who can this be? Who is he? We know not, nor 
the locality in which his situate his principality. But as he guesses by some odd fatality, this is the shop for cut and dried formality. Let him appear. He'll find that we're remarkable for cut and dried formality. Magnificent array. Our own clothes are much gloomier in costumes which we've hired by the day. From a very well known costume. I am that very well known costume. A brilliant star, a prince should make a show. It's a rule that never varies. So we've from the theatre Monaco Seek supernumeraries We are the supernumeraries At a salary immense Quite regardless of expense Seek supernumeraries Seek supernumeraries Our grammar's laws And their language is lamentable And they never take off their gloves Because their nails are not presentable Our nails are not presentable To account for these shortcomings by first We explain in whisper baited There were the men Brewing interest to the peerage elevated. To the peerage elevated. They are very, very rich and according me a sitch to the peerage
Take my advice when deep in debt. Set up a bank and play roulette. At once distrust you surely lull. And rook the pigeon and the gull. The bird will stake his every flank in wild attempt to break the bank. But you may stake your life and live. The bank will end by breaking him. Arrows of corn, grass of the end, the bull we don't know who we shall end. Hola, 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 hola. May fate go good. And on the class, the lotto surpass, and the bank's a cast. Rien ne va plus. Le 17 mois, apparemment. Hola, hola, vive la banque. For every time the more you spin, the bank is bound to win. For every time the more you spin, the bank is bound to win. A cosmic game is this roulette. The little ball's a true coquette. A maiden coy whom numbers woo, whom six and thirty suit to suit. Of all complexions to good lack, for some are red and some are black. And some must be extremely green, for half of them are not nineteen. And on some poor grass on the end of all we go to a new charrette. Hola, 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 hola. Me fait bonjour. And on la foule, ça roule, ça roule, le temps s'écule. Rien ne veut plus. Le temps s'accouche, un père est passe. Très bien, et tout jeune de la classe. The more you say when you begin, the bank is bound to win. The more you say when you begin, the bank is bound to win. The little balls are flat in bread. She flirts with black, she flirts with red. From this to that, she hops about. Then back to this, as if in doubt. To call her thoughtless word unkind, the child is making up her mind. For all the world, like all the rest, which pray it on, no, will pay the best. Allons en port, grâce en bien, to follow we don't for the charrette. Hola, 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 hola. Bebe, do, do. Autre jeudi, gagne aujourd'hui, rien ne va plus. La 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 la, le double zéro, vous perdez tous mes nobles zéro. Quel est le plus de vos pompes, the bank is bound to win. Quel est le plus de vos pompes, the bank is bound to
For oh, you vulgar vagabond, you fount of idle chatter, oh, you've done a deed on which I vow you won't get any patter, oh, you fancy you've revived the law, the empty brag and chatter, oh, you can't, you shan't, you don't, you won't, you think of rag and tatter, oh. <laughs> Agonies like racked in clutch of retro. This flippity jibbity kind of a liberty's quite another matter. Oh, well, this is all the agonies like racked in clutch of retro. This flippity jibbity kind of a liberty's quite another matter. Oh.